Tonight, as thousands prepare to travel for the holiday, a warning for drivers, officials urging people to abide by the move over laws in the Carolinas. This comes as a tow truck driver caught several close calls of his own on camera. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton has the story all new tonight. That would have ended my life. This is why you move over. The aftermath is ugly. You're going to get somebody killed out here. And the numbers aren't much prettier. I don't want to be the next number. But this weekend, Richard Burgoyce came close. He recorded this video highlighting what he says is a huge problem. That's what we deal with every day. To see for ourselves, we strapped a camera to the side of Richard's truck, flipped on his flashers, and started counting. Yes, there is one, two, three. Here's one that decided to come over into our lane four five six seven okay so it's been three minutes yep what are you at i'm right now just hit 41 cars 41 cars according to you disobeying the law yep. either not moving over or not reducing speed yep and your lights are flashing yep and you're not shocked no a lot of tow operators a year get killed because of senseless things. Last December, Lumberton officer Jason Quick was investigating a car crash on I-95. He was hit and killed by a passing car. I can't even begin to tell what kind of husband I had. Right now, there's an act in the North Carolina legislature that would stiffen the penalty for drivers caught violating the move over law. It's named after Officer Quick. We've been to almost six minutes and I'm still counting and I'm up to 84. In North and South Carolina, drivers are required to reduce speed and move over if you can do so safely when there's an emergency vehicle, tow, or utility truck with their flashing lights on. Because it's not just a truck or a car, it's, it's somebody's life. On I-77, I'm Xavier Walton reporting for NBC Charlotte.